greetings to all angioplasty is a very common procedure nowadays so the angioplasty is otherwise called as uh, percutaneous transcoronal coronary angioplasty uh, in short we call this ptca basically before angioplasty the patients would have undergone angiogram test which is basically a test to identify the blockage in the blood vessels of the heart we all have three blood vessels supplying the heart angiogram is done initially to find out the percentage of blocks and distribution of blockages and if the blockage is more than 70% in area then that angio that blockage cannot be treated with medications and all blockages uh, less than 70% can be treated with uh, many medications and an angioplasty will be needed for a patient with a blockage more than 70 uh, percentage of block in angioplasty the patient is typically admitted on the day of the procedure for example in the morning 8 0 am and then the procedure is done between 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock depending upon the availability of the uh, cath lab and other situation and typically uh, a straightforward angioplasty with a single blockages takes 40 minutes to 60 minutes to be completed in angioplasty uh, uh, is done through a keyhole a PR it's always called as a keyhole surgical procedure basically we call this interventional procedure it can be done through uh, two uh, sites one is through the right wrist Y which we call the radial artery so yes a small plastic tube is kept in the radial artery on the right wrist uh, in the in the cath lab and through the uh, tube we can introduce a, a catheter which goes into the blood vessel uh, origin and through that uh, tube we call catheter your wire is passed across the lesion and then a balloon goes railroading through the wire which goes near the blockage and it is inflated from outside so this is the first step uh, where the, the blockage is treated with a the balloon then we have stent which is called the coronary stent uh, we call uh, blood coated or drug eluting stents it's li mesh like uh, small 80 microns or 60 microns in th uh, thickness so it's a very thin uh, mesh like uh, device it is mounted on a balloon so it is uh, shrunk on a balloon and when it goes near i uh, positioned across the lesion the balloon is inflated and the stent gets inflated and gets attached to the blood vessels so it uh, like i said it is only 60 to 80 microns in thickness so it's a very thin uh, device and after the implantation, the balloon, the wire, the catheter, everything is taken out of the uh, system. And uh, a coronary stent remains uh, inside the blood vessel for life. Uh, the second part is sometimes we have to do a very advanced and a complex angioplasty. Uh, in that case, we have to go through the right groin. Basically, there is an artery called femoral artery where we place bigger uh, diameter tubes, catheters for a uh, complex angioplasty. The complex angioplasty uh, patients, uh, patients who get blockages after the bypass surgery, patients who have not only cholesterol deposition, a lot of calcified uh, uh, blockages where the calcium deposits over the cholesterol blockage. And calcium is a very hard substance. So we cannot expand the stent when there is a lot of calcium. In that case, we do uh, specialized procedures. Uh, there are four types of procedures. One is a rotational atherectomy where there is a diamond burr, uh, which goes and rotates inside the blood vessel 1 lakh 80 times and it uh, cuts the calcium into very small pieces like less than 8 microns less than the size of our red blood cells so then we do the balloon and then the uh, stenting the other device which has come in the last uh, one year which we use a lot nowadays is orbital atherectomy it is a orbiting device so just like earth rotates on its axis and also rotates around the sun it has two rotations and it goes inside the blood vessel and uh, rotates 80 0 rpm per minute so uh, here the uh, calcium is again cut into small pieces but it is a bigger device where you can cut the, even the deep calcium. So the other device uh, is called intravascular lithotripsy, where the lithotripsy is a shock wave which emits shock waves and can break the calcium. So these are the three important uh, uh, devices which we are uh, using nowadays for the calcified blockages. And there is a specific uh, uh, artery lesion called chronic total occlusion, where the patient develops slowly over a period of time, 100% uh, occlusion. Uh, these blockers are very hard. It is very uh, difficult to penetrate and pass the wire across the region. Here we use a lot of uh, dedicated CTO wires and balloons where stiff wires are used. Another blockage is crossed and then the stent is implanted. And there are other uh, complex lesions called bifurcation lesions where the blockage is present not only in the main vessel and across the branch. And if the branch is bigger, we have to implant two stents across both the blockages. And we have to crush one of these stents to make sure the flow is maintained. So these are the very complex and advanced lesions where we use intracoronary imaging, where we pass a catheter like intravascular ultrasound or optical coherence in uh, tomography OCT catheters, which practically take an image of uh, inside of the blood vessel and then gives us the information what are the blockages made up of. So this is called precision angioplasty. 
where we can implant the stent and make sure the stent is well opposed to the blood vessels of the heart. So uh, these uh, precision angioplasties and complex angioplasties avoid a surgery to the patient. But still in certain uh, nature of lesions, we still need bypass surgery. So bypass surgery is a very important component of the uh, treatment. By doing this precision angioplasties, we can avoid the restenosis. Basically, we should also uh, need to know about the, what is the side effects of the stents. Uh, stents practically have a 2 to 4% restenosis rates. Basically, when you implant a stent for 100 people, 2 or 4% of the patients can develop slowly growing lesions inside the blood vessel and cause, a, uh, uh, again, a blockage. This is called restenosis, but these blockages are slowly developing. This will not cause any heart acute situation. They can be managed again with a special procedure called red-coated balloon implantation. So these are the things we should know about, practically about the angioplasties. Thank you.